is the death of YouTube blogging and influencers. Guys, by the way, he's the highlight of the event. Hindi talaga. Na <laughs> bangal yung 1000 pa sana judge siya yung hindi 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 talaga ubusan na talaga to ice cream. Toto 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 toto. Marami mga brands here in the Philippines are still infatuated with getting influencers on Instagram. Mm. So, kung mababa Instagram following mo, then you won't make as much because that's a potential revenue stream as well. So, why will YouTubers die and content uh, and influencers die? Well, they, they won't die 100%. I mean, 100%. Of course, there's business to be had there. I'm saying that they will die and that there's the rise of creators primarily because most of the opportunities will be fragmented as well. Hmm. Hindi na lahat ng pera pupuntang YouTube, hindi na lahat ng pera pupuntang YouTube. Kumbaga, the money will be sprinkled across all of the platforms. Okay. Multiply, uh, MySpace, Friendster, they're all gone. Oh, they're all gone. They're all gone. Uh, will this end? Facebook, YouTube, parang will there be something that will uh, make this all obsolete? Hi guys, I'm Carlo Opla. I'm with Marvin Guillermo. He's one of the most trusted wow. experts when it comes to finance, wow. the stock market. But apart from being an expert, expert, he also explains it in a way na maiintindihan ninyo. So if you haven't subscribed to his videos yet, make sure that you subscribe. Because apart from learning from him, the stuff that you can pick up, actually, pwede kayo mama. Whoa, thank you so much. So enjoy the rest of the video. Okay, we're with Carlo Ople. Ngayon, so he's a digital social media expert. Digital marketer na lang. Pero may Dig expert. The expert. Okay. Guru. Sabi ko sa lang, guru. Eh. Guru. <laughs> Sakto oh. lang. Sakto lang. Okay. Yung third word ko of the day. Okay. <laughs> uh, where do you think social media is heading in the Philippines? And then, I, we're gonna talk We're gonna talk naman about social media. I wanna talk about different platforms okay. uh, for this video. So. Overview, macro, where social media headed? Well, the good better is to start from where it came from before it okay. before we talk about where okay. it's headed. Mm. So social media in the Philippines used to be very homogeneous in the sense na it was just Facebook. Mm. Guys, pag gumagamit na ng words ng homogeneous, so bang legit na yon super. <laughs> Asin toto toto na ni ko legit na yon. Pag may mga ganong words, ano na yon? Uh, profound. Okay, go. So dati kasi the Philippines was uh, parang 96% yata Facebook penetration. Okay. It was mostly the young crowd and then eventually all the older people started getting on it. Uh, and then you started to see fragmentation of social. Meaning? So the young ones didn't like the fact that their parents were on Facebook. Mm. So they either made a separate account or they went to the next new hip platform which was Instagram. Instagram. So a lot of the young people are on Instagram. Okay. Diba? So nagkaroon ka ng, doon pa lang, doon mo na kagad nakakita, nagkaroon ka na ng initial break. Okay. Doon ka na nagkita ng initial fragmentation. And then YouTube, of course, became popular. YouTube is more for the Zoomers, that's Gen Z, that's what they call them now. Uh, and the young, younger millennials as well. Okay. So doon mo nakikita, dahan-dahan na nagbe-break. Tapos when TikTok came in, it's more a platform of Gen Z Zoomers than it is millennials or uh, baby boomers or Gen X. Are you are you TikTok? Uh, I experimented with okay. it, but I can't get it. Ah, so, puro sayo, sayo lang yung so someday I will understand it because okay. I need to understand it. Okay. Uh, or also, sabi natin yung more executives are more on LinkedIn, mm. Mm. So you're seeing talaga a fragmentation of of social. Okay. Which is actually what happened to the US. Diba? Nag naging matagal lang tayong lahat stuck sa uh, Facebook. So, why are you into YouTube? Why, what, if, you, if it's Gen Z, what, are you targeting Gen Z talaga? That's why it's... So, I'm, I'm, I don't consider myself like a YouTuber. I'm, okay. a, I'm a creator. Ah. Yun yung topic ng talk mamaya. Okay. Yung topic ng talk ko today, okay. and we're at Social Media Week Manila, is the death of YouTube blogging and influencers. And guys, by the way, he's the highlight of the event. Hindi talaga, naman. Na, bang, yung 1,000 pa sa nandiyan, siya yung... Hindi, talaga, ubusan na talaga ito, ice cream. Totoo, 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 totoo. Yeah. So, kayo, mapapanood nyo to ngayon, no, grabe. Okay, go. Tapos, the death of YouTube. Ta the rise of creators. Okay. So, yung concept niya is creators will eventually... It doesn't matter where they create. They will... They know the audience so well that they know when it's good for Instagram. They know what's best for Facebook. They know what's best for YouTube. They know what's best for websites. And they know how to monetize. Okay, sige. Okay, guys. Part two. Nasa dressing room, guys. Sneak peek on the life of Carlo Oblay. We're in his dressing room. Wow. Guys, a dressing room. May pa-donut sila dito. May pa-donut. Okay. 
Uh, where did we stop? We, you were talking about uh, going into YouTube. You're mm, as a creator. Oh, as a creator, yeah, yeah. So as okay. a creator, you need to know where are the platforms that are the relevant ones that you should create your content on. Mm. And more importantly, where is the money? Okay. So for example, now a lot of brands are interested in YouTubers. Then obviously, you should become a YouTuber and then create content so that you can monetize that particular stream. But also now, uh, Facebook is increasing the CPMs because they want to get money from our user creators from YouTube. Mm. So that means you should be on Facebook creating content for Facebook because sayang yung pera na hindi mo kinikita doon. Mm. Diba? So at the same time, marami mga brands here in the Philippines are still infatuated with getting influencers on Instagram. Mm. So kung mababa Instagram following mo, then you won't make as much because that's a potential revenue stream as well. And there are still some brands who favor articles. So if you don't have a website where you write, then you miss out on that as well. How do you know that you have an, parang, uh, how do you know that your following on Instagram is significant enough already? Mm, ako, the moment the moment I hit like five digits or ten digits, five, six, ten digits, ten thousand, okay, okay, ten thousand, okay. ten thousand. Uh, that's considered okay. okay so okay. in my head, oh, okay, okay, okay. So YouTube, what's a significant number, naman? Ten thousand. Ten thousand also. Facebook. Ah, uh, anything with ten thousand para sa akin, pwede mo na eh. uh, So pati link, LinkedIn or ah, wala masyadong influencers na kinukuha sa LinkedIn. Okay, okay, okay. So right now your monetization is on those platforms that I just mentioned. Okay, so how do you segment the content? Uh, if you're good in video, YouTube lang kagat and Facebook. Or do you hmm. do Instagram stories, Instagram TV? And then, day one, you have to figure out what works for what content. Okay. Kinare, YouTube, uh, YouTube is about watch time and uh, click through. Okay. So obviously, you work towards having better thumbnails, you work towards having, having better storytelling. Uh, what's important on Facebook actually, yung thumbnail niya is what you put on the text at the top and at the bottom. Okay. Diba pag nakita ka, parang meme style. Ah, ah, ah. So kung gumagawa ka ng video, sas hindi mo siya ginagawa malam meme style. Malamang, hindi siya mag-viral. Mm. So knowing what kind works. So kanyari, pwede ka magsimula sa you have a main video on YouTube, you chop it up, you make a 3-minute, 5-minute version, you put it on Facebook, then you make another version, or you can use that version, put it on Instagram TV, and then you can get some screenshots so that you can post on IG. Okay. So all from one video. Mm. So yun yung mag-feed ng content funnel mo. So, where will be the attention be the next few years? Will it still be YouTube and Facebook? Or do you think something TikTok will somehow leapfrog them all? Or it will just be them still? I think, well, I think TikTok will be a big player. Lalo na sa younger generation. Pero ultimately, right now, in the horizon, ang nagbabakbakan talaga Facebook and Google. Eh. Mm. So you're seeing Facebook uh, with their platform and then Google with all of their platforms, which includes, of course, YouTube. So there's no one like clear challenger right now. So why will YouTubers die and content uh, and influencers die? Well, they, they won't die 100 percent. Of course, there's business to be had there. I'm saying that they will die and that there's the rise of creators primarily because most of the opportunities will be fragmented as well. Mm. Hindi na lahat ng pera pupuntang YouTube, hindi na lahat ng pera pupuntang Kung baga, the money will be sprinkled across all of the platforms. Okay. So if you're just focused on one, you'll just get a small amount of what could be if you're present on all. Mm. So kinara, I can say that kasi... Kinyari, I have a unique perspective eh, kasi I'm both on the side of advertising. I'm a client, diba? I'm part of a telco. Mm. And at the same time, I'm a creator. So I know what telcos and, and advertisers will look for. Mm. So as a creator, I know what my potential customers will look for. Okay. So alam ko din kung ano hinahanap nila ngayon. So uh, as much as possible, you try to align with what that is so that your business can be sustainable. Multiply, uh, MySpace, Friendster, they're all gone. Oh, they're all gone, they're all gone. <laughs> Uh, will this end? Facebook, YouTube, parang will there be something that will uh, make this all obsolete? Well, I, I don't know if it will happen, happen here in the Philippines, but I can tell you what can possibly end it. Okay. Something like WeChat. Mm. Like, a, like a social messaging app that's tied to your wallet. Okay. So, walang ganun si Facebook, walang ganun si Google. Ang gumagawa nun, di ba, si WeChat, yung mga iba pa mga chatting services. Mm -hmm. uh, obviously, you have the likes of Paymaya and others who will try to do that here. Um, but there is no strong and clear, like, company that's setting that up here in the Philippines. Okay. It's, it's a game changer kasi the moment you tie it to the spending of a person or their wallet, 
then it becomes their primary mode to either buy stuff online, to buy avail of services. Na, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's the one killer app that's still missing here in the Philippines. But will it stop the consumption of videos, posts, pictures? No, it, it, will, it won't stop it. But okay. a lot of creators will look at it. I'll, I'll tell you a story. If you take a look at China, a lot of creators are actually live streaming on WeChat because in one click, they can buy whatever it is they're pushing. Uh, and then okay, you, the business sense. model is affiliate sales. They okay, get a percentage sense. every time they sell something. Makes sense. Makes so, sense. mas malaki yung kita doon kaysa advertising mm. na barya lang kita ay nila. Mm. Mm. So, of course, then they'll start moving to where that space is. Kanyari, if sabihin natin, if Messenger had a video streaming platform na mala YouTube, and every time I talk about an item, there's a, there's a button down below, buy it now, and then that's connected to your bank account or to your credit card. Doon na lang ako mag-stream. Mm. Bakit pa ako mag-stream sa ibang lugar? Mm. Di ba? So, this is super... This will work for a lot of gamers, no? Kasi sila yung mas-streaming... Mm. Sila yung mas-streaming also? Not just gamers, okay. but any content creator or influencer in the future. Okay. So, how will you... Kunyari, Carlo Ople, how if this happens in the Philippines, how will you do it? How will you pull it off? And then, one, I need to know what platform it is. Okay. Then I'll go into that platform and, and, and do, do my usual brute force shotgun style. Talaga? If shotgun style ko kasi, do a lot of things, find out what works, find out what doesn't work, and then iterate, iterate, iterate until you have the formula. Okay, so again, final words for those who want to make money off of this digital platform, digital spaces that are happening right now. Uh, it's not easy. I think a lot of people think that it is the easiest thing to do. Mm -hmm. If ganun yung mindset that you're coming into it, you're going to do it for a quick buck. Wag nyo nalang gawin. Kasi it's a lot of hard work, it's a lot of discipline, it's a lot of heartaches, lalo na when you're starting. Because like what I said to Marvin kanina, mas mahirap umabot ng 1,000 kesa umabot ng 10,000. Mas mahirap umabot ng 10,000 kesa umabot ng 100,000. What was your biggest heartache doing all of this? Yung mga videos na pinaghihirap ako na may drone, tapos walang nanonood. Talaga? Kaya, kaya binenta ko na drone ko eh. <laughs> Wala naman nanonood eh. Okay. Nanonood lang sila pag nasa ano ako, outlet. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Kaya so, gusto nila eh. Pero that's where you realize it also. When I started making videos, wala rin sa background yun. Depends on what you're putting oh, in. Ano talaga if your content is... Kung ano talaga yung content. Okay. Ayaw talaga nila panood nila itong mga beautiful drone shots ko sa New Zealand. Okay. May mga drone shots ako sa Tagaytay. Pinag-aralan ko pa paano magpalipad ng drone. Tapos walang nanonood. So binenta ko drone ko. Ano naramdaman mo nun? Ano kot? Nasakit? Nung simula, ano nung kot. Pero then nakita ko, uy, patok pala yung ano, mystery box. Then, doon na lang. Oh, pero, galing, pero galing na na. How, how... I'm supposed to enter. <laughs> ang galing nun, ang galing nun. You did, you did it, tapos it, it suddenly picked up. I, so you started doing research more. Research talaga eh. So you figure out what topics you wanna get to that okay. are high potential and low competition. Mm. So mystery boxes here in the Philippines was high potential, low competition. Sneakers was high potential, low competition. Okay. Tapos, ano pa ba? Uh, outlets was high potential, low competition. So, yun okay. yung tatlong content pillars na pinasa ko when I was starting. <laughs> okay, okay. So, that's it. Carlo Ople, last video with him. Peace. He's, he's gonna talk na, guys. Super, super galing. Super galing niya talaga. Bye, everyone.